Welcome back to the channel. I've just been going through some of my bushcraft equipment. Sorting through it, getting it ready for when we're allowed out in a few weeks time. So I just thought I'd do a little bit of a kit load out for you. Yeah, I'll start with the tarps. Yeah, the tarps I use really is the DD 3x3, which is probably the most popular tarp used for day camps and even wild camps and hammocks, that kind of thing. The other tarp that I've been using is the 3.5 by 3.5 multicam. Again, that's DD tarp as well. Slightly bigger, slightly heavier. Yeah, really good pieces of equipment. They're handy to make into tarp tents or lean to shelters, which is what I do mainly. So, yeah, they're the two tarps I've been using. I have been looking into getting a lightweight version, which I know a lot of you are using now. But to be honest, I'm happy with these at the moment. I have got a few budget tarps as well, like this one here. I think it's Nature Hike and the one that's covering the table. It's one that I use as my ground tarp mainly, if I'm doing a bivy camp or if I make a tarp tent, I use that as my ground sheet. So it's always handy to have budget tarps as well, they come really handy. The pack that I've been using for all my day camps is the Highlander Forces 44 litre, which is a budget pack. You can pick it up for like £34 online on eBay. I think I paid about £34 for it. Yeah, it's been a really solid bag so far. I've had it for over a year now. It's been on all my day camps. I do like to get out quite a lot. So yeah, if we go out for the day camp, this is the pack that I use. It's got good solid zips. The zips work really well on it. It's a nice rugged pack. It's, I think it's a thousand denier. I think it's waterproof as well. It's got two side compartments and it's got a main compartment in the hood as well. And it's got a large, one large compartment as well. You get quite a lot, quite a lot of equipment in it to be honest. So yeah, I'd really recommend that one. Yeah, so all this equipment is just gear that I'm going to be using for my day camps really. And not overnight, well I will be using it overnight, but I'm going to do a follow up video to this on my wild camping overnight equipment. Tents and backpacks, stuff like that. But this is just the gear that I'm going to be using for day trips into the woods, cooking, that kind of thing. So I just wanted to sort it out, get it all in one place. Because all my gear is all mixed together. So I'll get all this in one place now, so I'm going to know where it all is and get it ready for when we're allowed out. Which hopefully won't be too long, what, three weeks time. Yeah, these are the stoves that I've been using, the wood stoves. This is the Bushbox XL. And I've got this little Tom Shoe Titanium stove as well, which is really lightweight. I've only used it a few times, but when I take it out, you can pack it down flat, but I usually just keep it like this. Because it is quite small, just wrap it up in a bag and fits into my backpack quite easily. I've been using this a lot with me, Tranja alcohol stove as well. I have got a few alcohol stoves but this is my favourite one so I've just got this out for now. But yeah I will be using this as a wood stove as well, getting a little fire going in it and stuff. But it's been working really well for what I've needed it for. I also love using this as well. This is the Yuko mini grill and fire pit. Stainless steel. I'll put some clips on on the video so you can see some of the, the gear that I'm talking about in use. But yeah this is a cracking little bit of kit. Quite lightweight as well, it's just under the kilogram, 800 grams, something like that. Yeah, you can use it for, as a barbecue, get a little fire going as a fire pit. I've used it a few times, cooked some nice food on it. So yeah, it's a nice bit of kit. I'm also hoping to be using this a bit more as well. The TF Gear Toasty Maker. Comes in really handy when you're out in the, in the woods. I think that'd work nicely with this as well. The bus box. The bush box I use is the, the XL version, stainless steel. There is a more lightweight version, titanium. But to be honest, I'm happy with this, it's not too heavy. The kettle that I use is the GSI Glacier, stainless steel, for its one litre capacity. Love using it, it's a cracking kettle, should last years. It's quite lightweight as well, and I'll just keep it in this little canvas pouch here. I think it's quite hard to get hold of now, to be honest. Quite rare to find it online, but it's still available. I've looked, looked for it and you can still buy it. Cracking kettle, definitely recommend that. The other kettle that I like to use is the Kelly Kettle Trekker. I think this is the smallest version you can get. I mean, it's not everyone's cup of tea, this. But yeah, it's a good bit of kit. Quite lightweight. 
it's more compact than you think really when it's in its bag it fits easily in my rucksack and it only needs a, little, a few twigs you can get a brew going in no time boils water really quickly so I'm looking forward to getting out and using that again again the version I'm using is the stainless steel it is available in aluminium but this is slightly heavier but it's solid less likely to warp as well so definitely recommend it we're sent these for free emergency sleeping bag and emergency shelter I was hoping to try them out and do a little video but I'm not sure if I will or not but it's just handy little things to have in your kit but I might do a video on them at some point but as I said I was sent them for nothing so a nice little freebie yeah the lanterns I've been using is the Fuhrhand hand storm lantern I've only used this a few times it needs a new wick which I'm gonna have to send off for and replace the wick but yeah cracking bit of kit I love the warm glow that they give off when you're outdoors in the woods cooking over an evening or on an overnight camp they set a really nice atmosphere really nice lanterns the other lantern that I'll be using is the old lantern it's quite compact it's not the lightest though it's rechargeable it's pretty bright on full setting I mean they are quite expensive for what they are a bit overpriced but they had a good little lantern and I'll be using that on my wild camps bushcraft wild camps take it out on the day camp just in case it goes dark early on the cold early evenings when it goes dark early in the winter I'll be taking that out just in case but yeah good little bit of kit I was sending this little pack of survival whistles out so I got them as a freebie I'm not sure I will use them I might put a few in my little kits that I like to make I like to make little survival kits using molly pouches I mean that's a first aid kit I've got a little fishing kit going on in that one and that's just mixed bits and bobs at the moment so yeah a little pack of survival whistles the small pen knives that I like to take out with me are these two open owls but I mainly take me Victory Knox hiker with me that comes everywhere with me on all my camps, wild camps comes in really handy and it's a handy bottle opener as well for any beers so that's a bonus I've got a little open L sharpening stone there as well let's keep the blade sharp in this little pot I've got my Stanley Adventure Camp cook set I like to take this out now and then when I'm cooking a small meal like a tin of stew or soup, noodles, that kind of thing comes in handy, it's lightweight, it's compact it's got a nice little storage pouch here for your bits and bobs and you've got the Stanley Adventure Camp cook set pan inside as well the plastic cups so that comes in really handy sometimes I'll be using that the other pans I'll be using the most is my Zebra lunchbox I think it also, it's also known as the camping pot the 14cm camping pot as well with a locking lid it's a cracking bit of kit for me my favourite pan that I've used the most over the years and I've got this one which is similar the MSR Alpine stowaway pot, which is just like a, a similar design, locking lid. Doesn't come with the insert though, like this one, like that one does. But yeah, I'll be using this one mainly for stews, larger meals. And I think that's one one litre capacity that comes in handy for smaller meals. Yeah, both high quality stainless steel, really good quality pans. Yeah, I did do a video a while back of my cook kit and all the pans that I use. I might put the link to it in the description if you want to check that out. And that was basically just all of all the pans that I use. I mean, I've only got a few on display here because these are the ones that I'm going to be using the most for the rest of the year. I have promised myself as well that I'm not going to be buying too much gear this year. I'm going to make do with what I've got, put trust in the gear that I've got, and just get out and enjoy myself. Basically, it's more about getting out there now on the camps and adventures rather than collecting gear. Yeah, I've got this little Tom Shoe titanium pan as well. A little titanium spark and a little titanium alcohol stove inside as well I mean that comes handy I'm getting out for the day and I just want to cook some noodles quick or make myself a quick brew although I do, I do usually use my kettle for that but I have used this I made a hot chocolate in the woods a while back using this it's really lightweight it comes in really handy if I do purchase another pan this year it probably might be a slightly larger titanium pan I was looking at an alp kit one a while back but it's gone up in price again so I might wait for that if it drops in price and I'll sweep on it but yeah I don't really use titanium that much I mean they do come in handy but I always prefer using my stainless steel 
the bushcraft knives that I use are mainly Mora knives. I've got the Mora Robust, the Mora Craft Line, and probably the most popular Mora knife, the Mora Companion. The best knife I own is the, the Mora Garberg, which I bought a few months ago. Stainless steel, full tang. Yeah, it's a really chunky knife, really popular. It's a solid knife. So I will be using that a lot. Probably my main knife from now on. I mean, they are good quality budget knives, the modern knives. You can pick them up for like £12, sometimes £8. If you look about online, I recommend them. Come sharp out the box. Really robust. Lasts a long time. Good quality. The saw I use is just a back hole that blander. Really popular saw. I was sent this brother knife a while back. Good quality stainless steel. Chunky. Full tang. I do like to say it that a lot sometimes as well. Good quality little knife this. The hatchet that I'll be using is the Husqvarna hand hatchet. I mean this was really popular with TA Outdoors when he first started off. I mean he's one of the biggest bushcraft channels on YouTube now. But remember in his early videos he used to use this a lot. And he really used to make shelters and all kinds out of it. And put it through its paces. And I think I paid £20 for it. It's probably one of the, the best buys I've ever made to be honest. For the price you can't complain at all. Got the Friskars X5 as well, which is a really small hand hatchet. Solid. If you look at some of the YouTube videos on this, you've got tanks running over them and all kinds, and they don't snap. Really solid bit of a kit. I use this for mainly for chopping bits of wood up, fire prep, that kind of thing if I'm in the woods. If I take my wood stoves out with me. I've got the, the sharpener for it as well, Friskars sharpener. You can get it really sharp using that. So yeah, good quality little bit of kit. You see them sold in garden centres. You pick them up quite cheap on Amazon. Good quality little hand hatchet. The most expensive axe that I own is the Hulter Force hand hatchet. Which I use for carving. I only use that for carving now, don't bother with fire prep or anything like that with it. Really good little axe. The fire starters that I use is this. Like my fire. Army Fire Steel, Ferro Rod. I've got the, the Ferro Fire there, which is a bit bulky though to be honest, so I don't really bother with that. And I've got Flint and Steel there as well, which I want to try. Try a bit more of this year, if I can. But yeah, I've not really used this much, as you can tell. Because I have not really had a chance to get out, but yeah, it looks a really good Ferro Rod so far. From what I've seen of it, and when I've tried it out, just throw some decent sparks. So yeah, it's a really good Fire Steel. Yeah, here's a little look at the Fire Steel that I've got. Convoys, Convoy SG I think it is. I've had it a while but I've only used it a couple of times. Comes in this little pouch. Got some charcoal in this bag here as well. My main flashlight that I use these days is the Baton Pro. For more light, really lightweight, quite powerful. I've got these two cheaper torches that I got off Amazon as well. Just do a job but they're quite heavy and bulky compared to this one so this is the one that I use mainly now. I've also got the Pedam Mini as well, which I usually use as me, me head torch when I'm out camping. I've got these head torches as well, which I was sent for free. I've not really used them that much. Yeah, I've got like, quite a few really knocking around. I've got even more as well. But yeah, I think that one's a 4,000, 6,000 lumen headlamp. I've got these cheap Amazon ones as well. I mean, they are all quite good to be honest. I've tried them out and they are quite bright, but i probably just stick to using the Pen and Mini. Slightly overpriced for what you get, but I always set them for free. So yeah, they're my torches of choice. The frying pans I like to use, the Lodge Cast Iron. Love using Lodge Cast Iron out on my camps. Great for frying a steak. Quite heavy though, so we only take it out now and then, but I love using it. The other frying pan I like to use is Pinnacle, GSI Pinnacle 10 inch pan. I've used that quite a few times now, good quality, does the job really nice. It's quite a large pan, so it takes up quite a lot of space in your back, backpack, but it's quite lightweight really. And it cooks food really well. The balls cutlery and plates I like to use these days are the Kapilka. Really good quality. I've got a couple of other plates here, the large plate. Little small plate there. These are just little Stanley tubs that I take out, out with me for herbs, spices, 
I can't have any chilies. Yeah, I've got a spark, a fork, a knife, a small spoon, but I lost me spoon as well on a camp, which I'm going to talk about. But I've got another set, but it's a different colour, it's a dark colour. But yeah, I really recommend these. Good quality. Might even look into getting some more. I've got some paracord here for when I set my tarps up, my tarp tents. I like to set my tarp up by a ridge line. The tarp tent using this, you get loads of room in it. It's better than using a pole. And I'm hopefully going to do a couple of wild camps using this tarp, set up as a tarp tent, get tons of room in it. It's quite lightweight as well. I mean, like as I said before, I might look into getting a, a lightweight tarp because I do lightweight version, but I mean, I'm going to try and get through the rest of this year without buying much gear. I'll just use the gear that I've got here. I mean, I like to think that I'm a budget minded wild camper. I don't like going out spending ridiculous amounts of money on tents and sleeping bags, that kind of thing. If I can get away with it, I'll, I'll buy the best gear possible for the cheapest price. And then hopefully, I like to do my gear reviews to pass it on to other people that might be interested in good quality gear at a low price. That, that's what my channel is all about. I've got this little canvas tool roll here with my carving knives in. I'll get them out now and show you. Yeah, so these are the more carving knives I've got. Two hook knives there. Razor sharp. All these knives come razor sharp. I mean that one's starting to get a bit of a patina on it there because it's carbon steel. Probably need to get a bit of oil on that. It's the only problem with carbon steel blades. They sharpen really well and they hold the, the sharpness really well but if you don't oil them up properly they start to get like, looks like rust but if you oil it up Stops it from happening. So yeah, there's my carving knives. In this little hidden woodsman pouch here, I've got my soya mini water filter. I like to take out with me sometimes, especially if there's a stream or river nearby, I don't get some fresh water filtered. Love using that. I've got this little gadget here, I forgot to mention. This little flashlight, a little waterproof flashlight, which is also an arc lighter. I mean, I've sent that for free a while back. Not really used it yet, but could come in handy on my camps. Yeah, so this is a little arc lighter flashlight. It's waterproof. I mean, it's not very powerful. But it could come in handy around the tent or around camp. For a little light inside your tent. Maybe flip this little button. And then you've got to flip the safety thing down first. Take the safety thing down. Flip the button up, and then the same button that operates the flashlight. It's then an art lighter. There's a little gadget. Could come in handy. Not sure I'll use it much though, to be honest. Right then, so I think that's everything covered. As I said, this is just the, the equipment I'll be using this year, 2021. For my day camps cooking outdoors, that kind of thing, days in the forest. I will be using it on some of my wild camps as well overnight. But I will do a follow-up video to this of some of the kit that I use for overnighters. So yeah, this is the gear I'll be using and I recommend everything on this table. It's all good quality stuff. I mean, there probably is better, better quality stuff out there for a larger price if you want to pay for titanium pots, that kind of thing. There are better flashlights, there's better packs. But I'm a budget wild camper, and that's the way I'm going to stay. Even if I had the money, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and buy a £700 Hillyburg tent. Do you know what I mean? I, I like to stay budget, budget minded. And that's that's the way I enjoy it, really. Right then, so this is just a kit load out. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you find some of it useful, or if there's any gear that you've seen that you might be interested in. As I said, I recommend it all anyway, so... Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.